all right guys so if you want to see how the whole experience went um i don't know what i'm talking about anymore everyone what's up people welcome to my channel welcome back thank you for your support in my last video thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting and thank you for just being an awesome self like you guys rock rock 100% so I told you in the last video that this month is going to be about Nigeria and not just about Nigeria Nigeria like just talk anything I decided to talk about some unique experiences I have experienced here in Nigeria now there are some things that you know you just feel like there aren't like something you expect from Nigerians due to like the wrong imaging we've gotten and the bad habits of some people but when you find people that have decided to stay and be different you know you just want to celebrate them okay so talking about celebrating I will be sharing with you this particular experience I had but I'm actually thinking that because I'm thinking of doing something interesting I don't know what do you guys think I want to start a podcast I do have a podcast that I have dumped wow okay so I'm thinking of reviving my podcast and what I want to do with my podcast is to tell uh, unique stories of how Nigerians are using arts culture or craft to do unique stuff like mind-blowing things yeah what do you guys think about that okay so I'm still thinking about it but let me first tell you about my experience so have you guys ever thought about you know when we go to the stores for people that like chocolates like me I love chocolate and if you don't like chocolate I'm so sorry you're really missing out so I like to always have dark chocolates and all because dark chocolates is healthy for your body but of course everything is in moderation. So you know whenever we go, chocolate lovers like me, whenever we go to buy chocolates, the most times we go to buy the foreign ones. We go to buy Tumbaran, we go to buy uh, Cadbury. I think, I don't think Cadbury is made in Nigeria. No, I think, no, Cadbury is not a Nigerian company. So most times those are the ones we buy sneakers um i like sneakers too or oh, the bomb tea the one made with them um, coconuts it's really sweet so but one day sometime last year i was in h medics and i was finding a chocolate bar to buy when i came across a certain bar and i looked at it first i looked at it because the price i was looking for an alternative the price that I was seeing for the ones I wanted had kind of increased. So I, I checked out this one because of the price. It looked fair. And so I, you know, just checked it out, looked at the back, looked at the front. And I realized that it was made in Nigeria. And I was like, oh, okay, interesting. Now, most, most Nigerians, we really need to repent of this attitude of, yeah it's not really our fault because yes we have been disappointed many times but at the same time again you know just be open you may just find something really good made in nigeria and that was how i found this chocolate and i tasted it and it was good i liked it the the uh, dark chocolate which i bought was so good i couldn't but go on instagram to find the company and not just find a company tag them and thank them for producing something that good honestly the feeling i had when i had that chocolate and i'm not sure what i said when i tagged them but i felt so proud to be a nigerian because the truth is as nigerians our images have been so distorted that when you say a nigerian a lot of questions go on people's minds and then they are very thinking what what will she do what will he do nigerians at this nigerians and that and we nigerians because of how much we're going through we're so quick to say mean stuff about our our country which is understandable to be honest it's it's really understandable but at the same time again this is just the only country we have so we can't allow you know 
we can't all jackpa out of this country if we jackpa out of this country we may end up becoming the largest migrate, mig migration problem that uh, the body responsible for migration <laughs> will be struggling with so we just have to make sure that we make the best out of our own country right great so it was in that light that i i you know sent that message just thanking them and all of that so sometime last week they had an event um, which i attended i was opportune to be part of the people selected for the event what was the event about it was the art of tasting chocolate i go it was the art of tasting chocolate you know you guys say what's about tasting chocolate there's a whole lot this actually it's an art to know how to taste things and know how they taste and be able to pinpoint the ingredient and to tell oh this is salty this is savory all of those it's not just sweet and bitter there are other tastes you know is it nutty is it roasted and oh my goodness just all of that is it buttery is it hard is it coarse is it fine those are the words i learned so yeah i'm so proud of myself i have learned a new art and skill so the process um, uh, um the, we went to the factory which is here in abuja in kubua and we were taught uh, basics on how how you know chocolate is made and then we we're made to um, put our own chocolate in molds like they already have like made out molds so we're made to like put chocolates in them <clears throat> and then we stacked them and then we're told to like so i made one was um um the um normal um dairy is it dairy or creamy yeah dairy is it yeah the normal dairy um chocolate and then the other two were dark chocolate because i i like dark chocolate so and then i I sprinkled my toppings on them and it was just fun I had fun and you know the cool part about these um, the chocolates is that they come in unique variants like they come in variants that are unique to Nigeria like Kuli Kuli chocolate sesame seed I think there was one that had like sesame sesame seed in it I bought this one I bought the peanut brittle bar so I bought the peanut brittle bar and oh, oh my god I think I want to eat it in front of you guys I think what's I should just do it so that as I'm talking I can share with you the experience oh my god so in in, in the box yeah this is how it looks look at even the package is packaging is solid it's solid while I was speaking to the owner, she said she is bent on being, um, and she's intentional about every single bar she makes because she believes that everything should have a mark of excellence and that is powerful. So she said, this is the, the um, notes that comes with the bar. It says, we source our cocoa from different parts of Nigeria and only the best beans make the cut. Mm. Our chocolate is crafted in very small batches that get lots of attention and love. I agree because that is what it looks like when I went there. Um, our promise to you is very high quality chocolate every time you unwrap one of our bars. I agree guys, the quality is just up, up, top notch. So I had the Kuli Kuli, in fact I tasted in a tasting, in the tasting, um, tasting event yesterday i tasted 10 variants of chocolates and my goodness they were just fantastic so this is what we were using to taste it's a it's a sensory wheel yep it's a sensory wheel look at it so it says use all your senses first you look so you look at it so let's open mine aha oh my god i'm not even patient to open it completely oh my goodness so yeah so this is the color oh so it is it is buttery it looks buttery and it's not it, it does have some like um it doesn't look it, it has it's coarse right it does have like some knots in it so the first rule is to look and then the second rule is to touch so you're supposed to um the idea is supposed to close your eyes 
and touch oh okay so i feel like it's it's um it's it's fine and it will melt it has this tendency to melt oh nice so that's the second thing the third thing is to listen still with your eyes closed you snap like you bring it to your ear oh so this didn't really break and give me that snap sound so it tells you something else about the chocolate and the next thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like ah oh, this is good so now i perceive the peanut yeah so it's peanut brittle bar so i perceive the peanut in it and then you're supposed to like sniff like three times i think i've sniffed more than that now so you're told that if you think um the taste in your mouth will um affect your ability to taste your chocolate you could just sniff a little of your um uh, your um, perfume so perfumes are supposed to be on your pores areas like this so this helps to clear your nose or for taste you could just go up some water some fruit and then they help to clear your mouth so now we're gonna do the taste so look it's already melting okay mm. so you take your time mm. so you should um mm. oh this is so good so taking up the basic note it's milky it's buttery and it's sweet it has nuts which is of course the peanuts i believe so this is what we did yesterday we not only made our own bar of chocolates we also got to learn the art of tasting which is something i'm going to be doing for my food now so before eating i'm going to take my time to taste them you know like so and enjoy the sweetness mm. Oh my goodness all right guys so if you want to see how the whole experience went um i don't know what i'm talking about anymore all right guys um i need to focus on this so thank you so much for watching my video and for joining me to eat this chocolate virtually i love you all um yeah get to see you soon bye oh